Hi, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wasserman, and today we are looking at Home Links uh, 1.3. That's Unit 1, Lesson 3, and it has to do with the rounding of large numbers uh, with multiple digits. So let's jump right in. You'll notice that problem number one involves a large table, the seating capacity for uh, the Women's National Basketball Association, the WNBA. So these home courts can fit so many people. So what we need to do is we need to think about what number can we round this to to make the uh, amount a, an easy or a digestible number. Well, here, the instructions for number one, it says round to the nearest thousand. So I'm going to be looking at this column right here, fourth from the right. That's the thousands place value. So all the numbers right here are in the thousands place value. Now when I'm rounding to the nearest thousand, what I really need to do is think about the place value next to it, the hundreds. Because in order to figure out if I can round up or if I have to round down, I need to know is this number at or past the halfway point. So we're going to go over here to the side and we're going to create a roller coaster model. I'm going to start by just drawing a hill. Now, let's look at the first number. The Chicago sky can hold 17,500. So what I need to know is that closer to 17,000 or 18,000. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to write 17,000 or 17 and three zeros behind it. That's 17,000. Now over to the right-hand side, on the other end of that hill, I'm going to write 18,000, or 18, with three zeros behind it. Now those zeros are important because the halfway point between 17,000 and 18,000 is going to be a number that starts with 17, but then it's going to have a 5 in it, 500. So when I'm rounding to the nearest thousand, what I need to be looking at is the hundreds. And is that number at or above the halfway mark, which is 500? Well, it just so happens that that is the exact number, 17,500. So using my roller coaster analogy, if I am on a roller coaster and if I am trucking my way up to the top of that hill, when I get to that peak and I start to tip over, gravity is going to start to pull me quickly and with much velocity down the hill on the other side and thrills ensue, which means that I'm going to land on the other side of this hill. So 17,500 is right at the tipping point that would pull you down the other side of the hill, rounding it to the next group of thousands. So I would round 17,000. 500 to 18,000, or 18 with three zeros behind it. Let's take a look at a different one. Let's look at problem, well, let's look at the amount that the Phoenix Mercury can hold. They have 18,422 total seats in their home stadium. So again, I'm going to create another roller coaster, but this time I'm going to start at 18,000, or 18, with three zeros. And then I'm going to end on the other side with 19,000, or 19, with three zeros behind it. One, two, three. So then what is the halfway mark? Well, just like what we did here with 17 and 18, my halfway mark is going to be 18,500. So again, I'm looking at those three place values behind the set, the 18 and the 19, okay? So there's my halfway mark, 18,500. But the capacity is 18,422. Well, 400 is less than 500. So 18,422 would be somewhere close to the top, but not quite. If you've ever tried pushing a bicycle or a skateboard up a hill, you know that if you don't get all the way to the top of that hill, gravity is going to want to pull you back. 
or if you've ever tried running or jogging up a steep incline, you lose your footing, you're going to start to slip and fall backwards. That's what's happening to 18,422. It's not enough to get it over the hump. So gravity is always wanting to pull you down towards the surface. So it's going to pull it back towards 18,000. So even though 422 people are a lot of people, when we are rounding to the nearest thousand... For our purposes, I would round down. So when you compare these two figures, 17,500 and 18,422, they both round to the nearest thousand. So these two amounts are close in value. So if I were a Phoenix Mercury fan and I wanted to go to a venue where they would have the uh, about the same amount of seats uh, that I'm used to, I might go to Chicago and watch the Chicago Sky play ball. Okay, the same thing's going to happen here with problem number three. Uh, and uh, this time we're comparing uh, population to nearest 100,000. And they even show you the value. 100,000 is a 1 with 6 uh, place values. Uh, one with five zeros behind it. So I'm only going to be looking at two columns for these numbers, two place values. I'm going to look at the first number, that's the hundred thousands, but then I'm also going to look at the number right next to it, to its right, that's the ten thousands. So when I round to the nearest hundred thousand, I have to ask myself, is it closer to the number that is in the front of the number, like say for example right here, or do I need to go up? So let's look at Wyoming as an example. Wyoming has a population of 563,626. So what I'll do here is I'm going to write 500,000 on this side of the hill, and I'm going to write 600 thousand on this side of the hill. So if I'm rounding to the nearest 100,000, the halfway point is going to be 50,000. And since I'm starting here with a 5, I'm going to put a 5 in front there. So my halfway point between 500,000 and 600,000 is 550,000. If I just ignored most of the zeros just a second. The halfway point between 500 and 600 is 550. Okay? So now I have to look at the actual number. It's 563,626. 563. So 563, that would come after 550. 563 is bigger than 550. And then when you add the 626, it just adds to the total. So this number is closer to 600,000 than it is 500,000. It's got farther to go. So I would round that number, the population of uh, Wyoming, from 2010 to 600,000. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, I want you to try uh, completing the rest of these problems, and uh, we will talk again soon. Thanks.